Joining me on NYSE Floor Talk is Ido Gall. He is the CEO and co-founder at Riskify. Ido, wonderful to have you here. Great to be here. Thank you. So let's start off by talking about Riskify. Tell me about the company. Sure, so Riskify was founded 11 years ago, and really our thesis was that by leveraging AI in a large merchant network, we can help enterprise e-commerce companies better understand who their best loyal customers are and who their bad fraudulent customers are. And by helping them understand that, we can help them increase sales to their good customers and block transactions from their bad customers. And really, we believe that we're one of the largest companies in the world doing this today, work with over 50 publicly traded companies, including Booking.com, Wayfair, um, Prada, Finish Line, so really companies across geographies and industries. Now tell me, how has the e-commerce fraud space evolved over the years? Well look, the interesting thing about fraud is that it continuously evolves. You find one way to block the fraudsters, they try to attack you in a new way. So it's really this game of cat and mouse. And fraudsters really are at the cutting edge of technology. They're even leveraging ChatGPT right now. So it's really interesting to try and stop them. Together with that, we've also seen fraud move away from just traditional credit card fraud, where I steal your credit card, into abusing merchants' policies. So a lot of our solutioning has moved in that direction over the past few years. Now, Ido, tell me about what the spectrum of policy abuse looks like and how it's impacting retailers' bottom lines. Well, it's really a wide spectrum, so you can think about anything from return fraud to refund fraud to different promotion abuse to things around resellers and reshippers. And let me give you a few concrete examples, right? As a retailer, you want to give customers an amazing returns experience. They click return, you want to refund them the money right now. From a fraudster's perspective, that's amazing, right? They're going to keep the goods, click on refund, and keep the money as well. So retailers are now saying, okay, let me wait until they reship the goods. Now the fraudsters are saying, okay, I'm going to ship an empty box, a box filled with rocks, or a box with counterfeit goods. So there's always this dynamic between the retailers and the fraudsters. Um, another example I like to share is around refunds, right? Most merchants don't understand it, but there's a massive amount of fraud in the refund space. Okay, fraudsters have figured out then easier that it's easier to just claim, hey, I ordered something and never received it, than it is to steal your credit cards. And what we see with the merchants that we work with is that 10 to 20% of the refunds are actually fraudulent. And when you think about the scale and size of e-commerce, you know, that's easily over $100 billion in loss. So really exciting opportunity there. Ido, tell me, how do you work with the merchants that come to you with this problem? Let me give you an example with one of the merchants we work with, Ring, the security electronics merchant. So they were having a huge issue with returns. They were getting a bunch of empty boxes. It was shifting around from different states, from different geographies, and it was hard for them to pinpoint who the bad actors are. And they were trying to understand in order to block them. Um, by leveraging our AI and merchant network, we were able to pinpoint these abusers, and really by blocking a tiny basis point of transactions, we were able to save them over 10% of their refund cost. Um, so that was really an amazing outcome, and it's something that we're seeing again and again in the refund and return space. All right, now Ido, tell me, what's next for Riskified? What exciting things are you working on? I think we're really excited about e-commerce in general, some of the new categories, some of the omni-channel flows that are happening there. And just when I think about our ability to leverage our merchant network and some of the AI capabilities that we have to further build solutions that help differentiate the great customers from the bad customers and you know, give the best customers a different and very frictionless experience and stop the bad customers, our R&D team is hard at work in that and something we'll continue to innovate on. All right, well, you know, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thanks so much.